السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا انورژن میتھڈ اینڈ دا کرامرس رول ٹو سالو دا سسٹم آف اے لینئر اکویشن سو وی آر اسٹارٹنگ دا ویڈیو ود دا فارمولا اے انٹو ایکس ایکولس ٹو بی ہیئر وی ہیو ٹو کنسیڈر دس اکویشن بائی دس اکویشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو گیٹ دا ویلیو آف ایکس ہاؤ ایکس ایکولس ٹو بی از دیئر A is being multiplied over here on the other end it will be divide so we will we can write it like this b upon a or x equals to b a inverse right as you know that uh, 1 upon 2 can be written as 2 inverse okay so this is the formula for finding out the Cramer's rule or inversion rule okay let's uh, do it first of all what we are going to do is to consider this equation here we know that a inverse is equals to simply adjacent of a upon determinant of a right so we are going to put this formula in this equation this equation is say uh, a so we are putting this in the equation of a so it will be x equals to b inverse a inverse x equals to b and then it will be adjacent of a upon a determinant you can write it like this okay so this is the very equation this is the very formula we are going to use to simplify the uh, system of equations Uh, whether it is a inversion method or the Cramer's rule. So here I have written the formula and I have taken a system of uh, linear equations. So here is my a, this is my x equals to b. What I am taking from the system, I have taken out the coefficients and written in the form of a matrix. Then I have two of the variables. I can see that two of the equations having the uh, same variables x and y. so this is the x okay and equals to 8 and minus 4 i have written taking out from the system of equations you can see it from here now what we have to do we have to change it in the form of x is equals to b matrix multiplied by a inverse so this is my a inverse it will go over there and this will remain uh, stay over here and then b will be multiplying with the inverse of a so first of all we are taking out the inverse of a so for a inverse simply what i am taking this is a so ad minus bc first of all the determinant of m we are going to take determinant of m and adjacent of adjoint of a so determinant will be ad minus bc so 4 times 1 minus 2 times 3 so it will be 4 1 the 4 minus minus plus 2 to the 6 and it will be 10 so determinant is 10 now adjoint of a we know that it will replace the play uh, it it uh, it will be uh, swapping and the sign of the uh, diagonals will change then it will be 1 2 minus 3 and 4 okay this is my adjoint I, we are going to write it like this upon the denominator so it will be upon denominator or you can uh, sorry upon the adjacent uh, determinant or you can multiply it with simply 1 upon 10 okay now each and every single entry will be div uh, divided by this 10 so you will write 1 upon 10 2 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10 and 4 upon 10 this is the first part done a inverse now a inverse then be multiplied with this b okay x equals to b into a inverse this is so this is the a inverse now we have to multiply it with b matrix b matrix is 
minus 4. Now here I have written the uh, things according to the equation. This is what I have uh, obtained from the determinant AD minus BC since it, is, it was not equals to 0 that is non singular. So I have written it and I have pre proceed with the question. So the obtained answer of the determinant was 10. Here it is now. This is my A inverse adjoint of A sorry and then this is my matrix B. Well, what I am going to do is to do the multiplication and uh, solution uh, so that you can understand it well. It will remain same. What I am going to do is to multiply this first 1 upon 10. So it will be easy for you. So it will be 1 8 is 8, 2 4 is 8 minus 2 4 is 8. Now next is 3 8 is 24 of negative sign and plus minus minus 4 4 is 16. You can write it in the form of this so that it will be balanced. Now over here 1 upon 10 it will be 8 minus 8 0 minus 24 and minus 16 it will be 40 uh, sign of a greater number so next is if we multiply this 1 upon 10 and reducing it in, in the uh, matrices we will find that 0 upon 10 and minus 40 upon 10 so it will be 0 and 10 when the 10 10 4 are so it will be x y x and y so x over here it will be 0 and y over here we have obtained minus 4 from the system of linear equations using the inversion method i hope that you have understood simply applying the formula of a x is equals to a inverse into b you will find out the this, uh, these components x and y this is simply adjoint this is the determinant and then we are doing the multiplication then the solution and after simplifying it we have obtained that 0 and minus 4 is are the values of x and y by inversion method next is a Kramer's rule so starting Kramer's rule uh, will be the last topic of the chapter matrix and um, here we are going to write uh, two of the linear equations which is 3x minus 2y equals to 1 and the system another system is minus 2x plus 3y is equals to 2 so taking out uh, the entries from here so it first uh, determinant will uh, first first matrix will be 3 minus 2 minus 2 and 3 now next is omitting this 3 and 2 column the first column we are taking the rest of the remaining columns which is minus 2 first then 3 and the next one will be sorry first one we will write the equation uh, uh, entry is written after the equation so 1 and 2 and the remaining ones are 2 and min minus 2 and 3 minus 2 and 3 leaving the first column so taking the last one as first and then the second one written over here similarly over here we will write omitting this second one now so we will write 3 minus 2 and then 1 2 here after sorting this uh, matrices form then we will proceed with the next thing first the determinant you have already known and learned that determinant is equals to ad minus bc so taking the determinant of a first it will be 3 multiply by 3 minus minus 2 multiply by minus 2 9 minus minus plus minus it will be minus minus plus and plus minus minus so 2 to the 4 so it will be 5 of sign of a greater number so determinant of a obtained then it since it is not non singular uh, uh, determinant which is equals to 5 and not equals to 0 so we are going to proceed it first what we are going to do 
for x value we are going to take the determinant of a x so we will write completely the whole matrix over here upon the determinant and then for y we are going to write this whole uh, matrix upon the determinant this so it will be 3 minus 2 1 2 determinant and uh, 5 so it will be ad minus bc which is 3 1 the 3 minus 2 2 the 4 so it will be 5 so f uh, 3 plus 4 it will be 7 upon 5 and uh, here it will be 3 into 2 minus 1 multiplied by minus 2 upon 5 so 6 minus minus plus 2 1 the 2 upon 5 so it will be 6 plus 2 7 8 8 upon 5 y for x equal, uh, is it uh, this is equals to 7 upon 5 so here we have obtained two of the values using this grammar rule first of all what we have done taking out the all entries for a then we considered a x and the entries were omitting this first column we taking the next things ne next of the entries which is one and two first and then we will uh, we have written the uh, column of a uh, a y okay okay then y y ke component mein we have omit the y entries and we have written the x one first then the cost constant uh, last then taking out the determinant and for x we have divided the first comp, uh, determinant with the det uh, whole determinant okay then we have obtained the value of 7 upon 5 using the formula very same formula ad minus bc upon the determinant since it is a non singular entry so we are using it and we are proceeding with the questions otherwise if it is it, it, it was as equals to 0 then we couldn't uh, proceed and the question was stuck uh, now over here for y another determinant and the uh, whole determinant so ad minus bc formula we have obtained the value 8 upon 5 i hope that you have understood two of the methods which are very easy and if you have any of the query please leave a comment for me and i will sort it out for you inshallah we will meet you soon in the next video allah hafiz